Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss candidate elimination algorithm. Candidate elimination algorithm is used to find the version space. That is nothing but the set of consistent hypotheses with a given training examples. In candidate elimination algorithm, first we will initialize the generic and uh, specific boundaries. The generic boundary is set to question marks and specific boundary is set to all nulls in this case. Uh, that is shown over here. G0 is set to all question marks and S0 is set to all nulls in this case. The number of question marks and nulls will determine uh, the number of attributes here. In this case, you can see the number of attributes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So that's the reason we have taken 6 nulls in this case and 6 question marks over here. Next, uh, we need to consider one example at a time that for each training example D, we need to perform the following steps. So first I will consider the first example. When I consider the first example, the there are two possible cases are there. An example may be positive or it may be negative. If the target is yes, the meaning is it is positive. If the target is no, the meaning is example is negative. That is uh, an example may be positive or it may be negative in this case. If it is positive, first we need to go to this particular generic boundary that is G. First here we need to go and then we need to check whether this example is consistent with the hypothesis present on this particular boundary. If it is consistent, we should not do anything. If it is inconsistent, we need to remove that particular hypothesis. That is what is written here. Remove from G any hypothesis H inconsistent with D that is the current example in this case. Now once we do this particular thing, we need to go to specific boundary here. That is uh, the specific boundary in this case is this one. So once you go to this particular specific boundary, we need to consider one hypothesis at a time. That is yes in yes we need to consider. And then we need to see whether S is consistent with uh, this particular boundary or not. If it is consistent, uh, we, uh, we should not do anything. If it is inconsistent, that is uh, S is not consistent with this particular D, we need to remove that particular hypothesis first. That is, uh, S is inconsistent with the current training example. So remove that particular S here. Once you remove that particular S, next we need to add all minimal generalizations of S consistent with D. For example, if you look at this particular thing, null will not match with uh, sunny because there is no match. This example will be classified as negative, but this example is positive here. Hence, this is inconsistent because it is inconsistent. What we do is we will replace this particular null by the specific value. What is the specific value here? That's a sunny. If we already have sunny here and sunny is not matching with uh, the attribute value, let us say that rainy is present, sunny and rainy are not matching. So in that case, we need to put question mark over there. So that is what is called as minimal generalization. Null should be replaced with specific value and specific value should be replaced with question mark in this case. So this is what we need to perform whenever we find a positive example. If it is a negative example, first we need to go to specific boundary again. If you go to this particular specific boundary, we need to see whether that particular hypothesis which is present on the specific boundary is consistent or inconsistent with a current example. If it is a consistent, we should not do anything. If that particular hypothesis is inconsistent with current example, remove that particular hypothesis. That is what we need to do here. After that, we need to go to generic boundary. Once you go to this particular generic boundary, we need to consider one hypothesis at a time from this particular generic boundary. One hypothesis at a time from this particular generic boundary. And then we need to see whether that particular hypothesis is consistent or not. If it is consistent, we should not do anything again. If it is not consistent with respect to current example D, what we need to do is we need to remove that particular hypothesis first. That is G is inconsistent with the current example. So remove it. Once you remove that particular thing, we need to add all minimal specializations. That is nothing but if you have a question mark here, the question mark should be replaced with a specific value. If you have a question mark already, it should be replaced with a null in that case. So that is what is called as minimal specialization. Minimal generalization, null value will be replaced with specific value like sunny or rainy. And then the specific values will be replaced with question mark. Minimal specialization means if we have a question mark here, it should be replaced with specific value and then specific value should be replaced with a null in that case. So this is how this particular candidate elimination algorithm works in this case. I have solved many examples uh, with respect to this uh, candidate elimination algorithm. The link for all these examples is given in the description below. 
go through these particular links so that you can understand how can we use this particular candidate elimination algorithms to solve all these particular data sets this is the first one second one third fourth and if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching